I'm throwing a wrench in your gluten-free diet. Going gluten-free may not be as healthy as you thought. Gluten-free is all the rage these days. Everyone and their grandmother is doing it. It's so cool. All the popular kids are doing it. You should be too. And there are some really valid reasons for going gluten-free, which is too big of a topic for this short little blog, vlog, whatever you want to call it. But for most people, I'm still a big fan of going gluten-free. However, most people are doing the whole gluten-free thing all wrong, and I'm throwing a big fat wrench into how healthy your gluten-free diet may be. In fact, for some people, going gluten-free can be one of the most unhealthy things they do. Walk in any health food store and you'll see all types of new foods and variations that are all gluten-free. And it all sounds really nice. How do they make those breads, crackers, pastas, cereals, or whatever gluten-free? One, one simple ingredient, rice. Gluten-free folks accustomed to eating rice-based gluten-free breads, pastas, cereals, and other substitutes may be consuming dangerously high levels of arsenic. In fact, a 2017 study showed people consuming rice-based products on a regular basis showed almost twice as much arsenic in their urine compared to those who did not, and 70% 70 70 more mercury. Another troublesome finding. Why is arsenic harmful? Arsenic is a naturally occurring metal, heavy metal. It's the inorganic arsenic, not bound to carbon, that is toxic to humans if levels ingested are too high. Although or inorganic arsenic occurs naturally, it also accumulates in soil and water due to pesticides and fertilizers. Because rice grows in water, it is the grain highest in arsenic. So what's the problem? Consistent exposure to small amounts of arsenic increases the risk of bladder, lung, and skin cancer, as well as heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and neurological disorders. Consuming arsenic during pregnancy can affect the baby's immune system. Consumer reports found one serving of rice pasta, rice cereal, and rice milk exceeded a safe amount of arsenic for one week, while one serving of rice cakes came close. The FDA recently proposed a limit of 100 parts per billion of arsenic in infant rice cereal. However, it's impossible to know how much arsenic is safe to consume, as risk is dose-dependent. The more you consume, the higher the risk. Personally, I think zero is a good number. I don't want my kids or me getting, any, getting exposed to any arsenic uh, if I can help it. So how do you minimize exposure to arsenic from rice? These troubling truths about arsenic exposure through rice don't have to spell gloom and doom for gluten-free folks who depend on rice-based substitutes. For starters, look for products made from other grains besides rice. Thankfully, there are many more on the market these days. Look at where your rice comes from. In 2014, consumer reports found that rice from Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas had the highest concentrations of inorganic arsenic, while California uh, had almost 40% less arsenic. Brown basmati rice from California, India, or Pakistan has a third less inorganic arsenic than other brown rice. Unfortunately, because the arsenic comes from the water, organic rice may not be lower in arsenic. Food for thought. Also, consider white rice. Since arsenic tends to accumulate in the outer layers that are removed to turn brown rice into white rice, White rice contains less of the toxin than whole grain. But as I outlined below, this may contribute to making the whole high glycemic index issue worse. Rinse your rice thoroughly and cook it in excess water. Wash your rice thoroughly before cooking and then cook your rice in a ratio of about six cups of water to one cup of rice and then drain out the excess water. This cuts down arsenic levels by about one third compared to letting rice absorb all the water during cooking. Also, consider a grain-free diet, probably the best route for most people. Many people feel and function significantly better on a grain-free diet. If you don't eat rice-based products, excessive arsenic exposure is one less thing you have to worry about in a world where we are at constant battle with toxic chemicals and heavy metals. Ask my office about more ways to protect yourself from toxic metals and heavy metals, or if you need to do a detox. P.S. Another reason why the typical gluten-free diet can be bad is because with all this substituting certain gluten-free foods for other things, particularly breads, crackers, cereals, and pasta-type foods, the rice-based stuff tends to be a higher glycemic index. The glycemic index is a measure of how quickly a food turns into sugar. 
This makes it more likely that those eating this type of diet will develop or worsen diabetes. So it seems as though you are doomed if you do and doomed if you don't. Health can often be a complex and tricky endeavor. If you need help restoring and maintaining your health, please give my office a call to set an appointment. Until next time, I'm Dr. Craig Mortensen. Be healthy, be happy.